Hello everybody, it's Joe here and welcome back to Train Sim Classic. Today we are going to be driving the Southeastern Network add-on, which is a free add-on via the Steam Workshop, and uh, we're going to be checking that out. I've already had a little look at it, it looks brilliant. Um, I've already driven this scenario and it's fantastic, that's why I chose to drive it today. We're in the class 375, we'll, uh, we'll get that set up before we uh, before we get too carried away with ourselves. Uh, this is a scenario by Magic Toad and uh, it will be available via his website. We're going to activate driver on the operation and uh, let's just pop in the driver ID 60820. Yeah, lovely. And the route code today, we've got that here somewhere. Uh, 1021. 1021. Enter. So, whoops, not save. So our train should say Hastings on the front. It most certainly does. Let's get the doors opened now. Do excuse the fact that uh, for some reason my uh, the, there's no glass in the front windows. It's a bug and uh, I've been given a patch to sort it out and I forgot to download that patch. But uh, yeah, all the driving carriages on all the Electro Stars that I have uh, do not have glass in the windows. Some Terrible youth came and, uh, and smashed all the glass. Terrible, isn't it? Uh, but yeah, this is available via the Steam Workshop. There is a link in the description where you can get that. I'd say it's a free route. You do have some payware uh, requirements. Uh, you do need the Chatham main lines, all of those, so the, the direct, the uh, the London to Gillingham, the, the, all of those. Uh, you need the London to Faversham, you need South London network add-on, and you need the Portsmouth direct line. That's because there's all sorts of scenery and track work and, and what not. Now, uh, we're starting here today at London Charing Cross. We're going to be driving down to Hastings. And as per Southeastern's method of work, this service is driver-controlled operation until after its departure from Seven Oaks, meaning you will open and close the doors so in, there won't be a conductor. Well, there will be a conductor, but they're not in charge of the doors until we're outside the metro area, in inverted commas. We're a service to Hastings, and we're going to be calling at London Charing Cross. Well, yeah, we're there now. Uh, Waterloo East, London Bridge, Orpington, Seven Oaks, and Tunbridge. And uh, the scenario is approximately 45 to 50 minutes in length. So it's going to be a nice little drive. It looks to be a semi express service. You know, I like a, uh, a semi express service. Not too many stops, but then not too much of a distance between stops at the same time. A nice balance, I always think. There we go, we'll get the uh, the driver vigilance active. There we go, everything's shut. And obviously we're not waiting on a uh, on a guard buzzer. Away we go. Look at that, we're off. Let's have a... Uh, oh no, we'll, we'll get a better photo at some point during the route. So yeah, um, what are my first impressions of this? I'm really, really impressed with it. It's a, uh, a free route. I don't think we've had Charing Cross before, have we? I'm trying to... Uh, dig out my, uh, from from the deepest, darkest corner of my brain, which routes we already had in London, and uh, I'm struggling with that one, but I think Charing Cross to London Bridge, this is all new, I believe. Yeah, so uh, it's really, really nice that someone's actually done this route off the, you know, off their own back. I guess to spend that much time, it must mean something to them. You see that train there, look, all the middle carriages have got the, uh, oh, a, a double ping. <laughs> They've, uh, yeah, the, all the driving coaches haven't got windows in. If you've watched my videos before, you'll have seen that. It's uh, yeah, it's it's a, a feature, not a bug. It's a feature. But yeah, I do have a patch for that, and I have downloaded it. I just haven't installed it because I'm lazy. I always forget to do these things. I know I'm terrible. Uh, apparently, this has been done um, watching cab view videos, etc. Cab ride videos. And, uh, and general reception from the community is that this is really, really good. I mean, I have no knowledge of this route at all. I mean, I, I've been on this line. I've been on a train from Charing Cross. But, you know, I, I have very, very little route knowledge in this sense. You know, this might not be accurate. I don't know. But uh, a lot of people that are in the know are saying this is really, really good. So, uh, yeah, if, if it's good enough for them, it's good enough for me. It didn't come with any scenarios. Oh, you'll notice as well, we're, uh, we're using a 378 as the class 376. So I don't want everyone commenting going, where did you get the 376 from? It's it's a reskin. It's a reskin, you see? You, you can see there? It's actually a 378 in disguise. Terrible, isn't it? I'm an absolute charlatan, I'll tell you that now. Right, there we go, we'll have a bit of braking. We want to be a nice, quick, efficient service today, don't we? None of this uh, dilly-dallying about. 
you know me, when I'm uh, when I'm driving trains, it's very much all or nothing. There we go, we'll stop at the 8 car, maybe a little bit past, but it's fine. There we go, doors are open, possibly. Oh, that's quite a nice shot, isn't it? It's quite dark, but uh, yeah, we'll, we'll, I'll, I'll take that. Ferris wheel in the background. Ferris wheel. Yep, I, I know it's the London Eye. I know it's the London Eye. I didn't realise that the London Eye and the Shard were so far apart from each other. And you see, I told you, I have very, very little knowledge of London. Like, I just assumed it was all together in the centre. Like, all just next to each other. Right, platform duty's complete. I have to be careful, actually, because I keep getting told off by Magic Toad for... Uh, because I'm not meant to go until it comes up with platform duties complete. Unless it's a stop. Uh, oh, hang on. What have I done now? Yeah, I, I think I've left early again, have I? No, what a Louise, 49. Yeah, that's that's fine. I keep leaving places early. Keep getting told off. Oh, we can just see a, uh, a Thameslink 700 in the distance there. And a yellow signal for us. Is that Thames Link? That Thames Link will be going in front of us, won't it? They always seem to have priority, don't they, Thames Link? I think it's because there's so many trains through that central corridor. They don't like if one of them's like three minutes late, the whole system messes up. You'd think with it being London, they'd just spend the money and put a load of new platforms in, wouldn't you? Just, they could bulldoze something, I'm sure they could. I mean, look, they, they built Crossrail, for goodness sake. It's a right slow little plod out of London, isn't it? We may as well just coast, because this chap's going in front anyway. There we go, we'll have a little break. What's he stopping for? Come on, keep going. He's slowing down as well. Unbelievable. Pop the DRA on. There we go. And uh, yeah, we'll, we'll just coast up to this signal. We're going to end up stopped, aren't we? But uh, yeah, I thought we might be able to get away with a bit of coasting and not actually stop. If you actually look on the minimap at the bottom, this is a really, really close signal section. Look at how long our train is. You can't actually fit it in the signal section further on. Look, between the 16, the 25, the 33, you can't fit it in there. So the, the train is longer than the signal sections with it being an 8 car. It's a good job we're not running a 12 car, isn't it? Right, there we go. We'll, we'll just stop, I guess. You can actually see him snaking round, and he hasn't gone past that signal section there. But, obviously, we'll... Uh, oh, hang on. Yeah, take your DRA off. So he's going to go past that one, and we're going to see the next signal here, maybe? Is that one going to go green for us? Well, not green, but yellow. Yeah, there we go. It's gone yellow, because it's just past that bit. It's weird, isn't it? Oh, there's another Thameslink train coming. Oh, I love it. Absolutely love it. It's a brilliant little route, isn't it? There we go. We may as well go up to 20, haven't we? Give them a little wave. I don't know. Do, do Thameslink drivers wave at South Eastern? I don't know. Maybe they don't like each other because they've got different coloured trains. Maybe Southeastern, uh, maybe there's a, a competition between Bombardier and Siemens. We're Bombardier so we don't speak to those drivers. I don't know. I have a bit of slowing down here because I don't know what this signal is. I can't see it. Oh, we've got a green into four. Right, okay. That'll do. We'll, uh, we'll get a bit of, bit of 20 on the case there. Lovely. So this is London Bridge, so of course this is part of the South London Network add-on, uh, but I think this is where it terminates, you can't actually drive any further, as in you can't drive up to Charing Cross, but of course we can now because we've got the route.
Oh, and there's the Thames link that was uh, that was delaying us. Not delaying us, because we're bang on time. There we are, we'll just coast around the corner. Six car board there on the left. Let's stop at the eight one here, lovely. That'll do. We were in the vicinity of the uh, of the eight car board. There we go. Release the doors. Now I have to wait until it's time to go. So it departs at fifty four, but we actually depart London Bridge at a uh, hundred and fifty four fifty five. Yeah, you, you might want to sort that. I don't know if it's fifty. Yeah, so fifty five. So we've basically, because we've got a dispatch, we've got to wait until we're dispatched. Wait until it says platform duty is complete. Yep, that's that's what we're doing. I'm not touching the keyboard. Because I've done this scenario twice now. The first time it didn't work, because something crashed in the uh, in the scenario. A train crashed into another, said there'd been a collision. And the second time, I left early again. So we're not leaving early. I'm not doing it. I'm not touching the keyboard until that says... What about, oh, we're embedded in the Thames Link train there. God, they're taking the time. Come on, we're out at 55. Right, we'll shut the doors. Off we go. Oh, he's going as well. That was what was meant to happen. We're not going to be beaten by a 700. Come on, this is quite literally the race between uh, Bombardier and Siemens. I guess you can only sort of do the speed limit, can't you? Oh! I'm going to say we had a red there. It's gone straight to a green. Brilliant. I wonder if we can get a nice shot of them. Side by side, that'd be awesome, wouldn't it? We're just going to turn the DSD off, because while I'm trying to take a, uh, a good photo, you can guarantee that... Oh, look at that. That's a nice photo. It would be if the 15 hadn't got in the way. Lovely. Oh, there's a... Oh, wow, there's a 377 coming out as well. Literally, everybody's going, right, we'll bang it in full power then. We're not been, uh, we're not been left behind by a 377. Oh, there you go. He's got no windows there and has there. I think we are getting left behind by it. Oh, no! Oh, this is a disaster! Oh, no. Look at that. That's terrible. The uh, the 700 is clearly much quicker than we are. Come on, train. We'll put the uh, the DSD, uh, the DVD, the DSD, the, the, the BP, that thing. We'll pop that back on. Aha! We're catching him. This is like proper London trains, isn't it? Just the such a frequent service you so often end up racing something out of London. Look at that. Oh, it's beautiful. We win. Ah. Oh, and we're beating the 377 over there as well. That is just magical, isn't it? And something else coming the other way. Brilliant. Oh, the, the things in London. London does have an incredible network of railways, doesn't it? And it pains me to say from the north. You know, I'd, 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 yeah, London really does have an incredible network of railways. Do I want the south... Oh, do, sorry, do I want the north to be like London? Probably not, because I'm a train conductor. And uh, London doesn't really do train conductors anymore, does it? It's it's kind of a, you know, alright, oh, southwest trains. But even then, they're trying to get rid of them. So, um, yeah, so I'm, I'm quite happy the North's railways are not like the South. Is that Battersea Power Station on the right-hand side there? Got another uh, 376 standing, imposter. Is it Battersea? Yeah, it will be, won't it? 
I don't know, any sort of big industrial building is just, yep, yeah, Battersea Power Station. I think it is. There'll be people from London with their head in their hands. No, that's just a generic power station. That's the North Kent East Junction power station. How could you get them confused? Sorry. I don't even think now we've gone past it. I don't think it is Battersea, is it? I don't know. Are we not in the right area? I, I don't know. Well, do you know what? Lots of angry comments will um, will make the YouTube algorithm go. So, yeah, I'm saying that's Battersea Power Station. There we go. Now get commenting angry and, uh, and yeah, we'll, uh, it'll make more people see the video. <laughs> Tactical. No, I'm, I'm not like that. I genuinely don't know. I, I don't think it is coming past it because that's coming out of Victoria, isn't it, that you see Battersea? And I don't think we're anywhere near that. Shall we, uh, shall we have a look? Can we have a look on the map here? Uh, right, Victoria's up here, isn't it? Oh, God, yeah, it's absolutely flipping miles away. Yep, ignore me. Yep, it's not Battersea. It's just another big industrial-style building. Sorry, folks. There we go. Back up to 60. Pop the speed set back on. We're not going to get to 60, of course. Or maybe we will. But obviously we need to drop back down to 45 in just a moment. Our next stop, sorry, I forgot to mention our next stop. Uh, our next stop is Orpington. Just over eight and a half miles away. Let's, uh, yeah, we're nearly at 60, so we'll start braking again for the 45. Go start slowing down again. Yeah, lovely. I don't think notch three. That might be a bit uh, optimistic. I'm bending round to the right here. There's just such a, a labyrinth of routes, isn't there? Like, where on earth does that go in front? Flipping heck, that's a low bridge. Could have done with the low bridge marker on. Good job we haven't got a pantograph or we'd have lost it under there. Flipping Nora. It's a shame that they, they can't still build third rail, because if you look at, like, for instance, the Trans-Pennine route upgrade up north, um, they're having a lot of bother with, like, low tunnels. And same as Calder Valley, there's a lot of tunnels they'd need to... And, like, the Bolton line, they had to completely do Farnborough Tunnel um, because the tunnels weren't big enough to put electric wires through. Whereas if you could do third rail still, you just bang a load of third rail in, and then all of a sudden... We've got eco-friendly trains. You know, we've got electric trains that are... Uh, okay, perhaps third rail isn't as efficient. It's not as good as overhead wires. Um, I'm sure there'll have been a study that'll approve that. Okay, yeah, you might tread on it and go bang. But, I mean, the, you know, we, we, it just seems like because they don't want to put it down because it's not as good as wires, but is it better to run a load of diesel? And do all that work to change the tunnels, and you know, when you could just put a bit of third rail? I don't know. Certainly be interesting seeing 444s going through Woodrow's Field, wouldn't it? I'm sure someone will have uh, made that a 444 livery for Trans Pennine somewhere. Alright, back up to 60. Yep, yeah, pop the speed set in. I do like the fact they've got speed set. Oh, we've got a 465 on the left. We've got a 707. They have, of course, entered service recently with South East. Not all of them. Some of them are still over at South West. Because they've not had their new uh, stuff yet. But, yeah, it's certainly weird seeing them in the South Eastern livery. Do we know... Are they, um, are they phasing out the white livery altogether? Because, obviously, everything used to be white, didn't it, with South Eastern? Um, or are the, the Metro-style services still staying? Because the, the 465s are all staying white. The 376s are all white still, aren't they? The, you know, everything that seems to run on the Metro-style services... Oh, hang on. Everything that runs on the Metro-style services is still white. Albeit white and blue, some are white and grey. There's a lot of different liveries, isn't there, really? I didn't realise a company could have so many variations of white. 
Oh, what's this over here? I can see something red in the distance. That looks like a southwest one. That must be a recent uh, transfer over. Have they operated any in the, the red? Because I imagine all these 707s will still have the red interior, won't they? I'd imagine so anyway. It just seems so silly. Another blue one there coming the other way. Wait, look at that. That were a jolty bit of track work. Flipping heck. Knock me brew over. It's all over the cab floor now. I don't know. That looks like some sort of depot then that we've gone past. Let's, uh, oh, hang on. There we go. Right, where are we? What's this? Grove Park Depot. There we go. Okay. Grove Park. Is that what this place is? It is. Ah. Oh. Appropriately named depot. Named the uh, the same thing as the sidings and uh, the station it's nectar. Oh, brilliant. Well, this is an absolutely fantastic route, isn't it? If you're a fan of the London's, the London area, uh, this is an absolute must. Like I said, there's a link in the description to do that. There's also a link to the Electrostar, if you uh, if you want the Armstrong Powerhouse Enhanced Electrostar. Really, really is good. Uh, you get quite a lot for your money as well. 377s, 375s, etc. Um, all the different liveries, all the different specs, because obviously there's different front ends, isn't there, on these. It, uh, yeah, it's really, really good pack to buy. But yeah, if you're, if you're a fan of your London area, you know, and your London network, this is brilliant. You'll probably have all the, uh, all the requirements anyway, if you like your South London area. So this is a must. It really is a must. Particularly this scenario as well by Magic Toad. I, uh, I, I like to throw him under the bus and uh, and and criticize that all opportunities i think good friends do criticize each other at every opportunity um but he has done a really really nice job with this it's a really nice drive um and i uh, when i checked this morning when i was doing the recording it wasn't up on his website yet but as soon as it is i'll ask him to give me a bell and uh, and oh, give me a little tinkle as it were and uh, i'll put a link in the description when it's up so uh, do keep checking his website he does a lot of good scenarios. He spends a lot of time on them as well, kind of messing about and, uh, and making sure everything's absolutely spot on. I'm hoping one day I'll be able to sell them. You know, like 50p a scenario. I don't think that's a... Uh, a, a particularly bad prices that when you think you get 50 out 50 hours 50 minutes of driving here I don't think 50p for 50 minutes of entertainment's that bad I think that's quite reasonable right there we go just take you on because you're going up to 70 aren't you the speed's at 70 anyway and then it goes to 90 flipping heck hold on to your hats folks 90 but of course let's look in the bottom left Orpington is coming up in less than two miles so I don't think we're going to get to 90 are we Right. Orpington. Yeah, we can, uh, we can... I think we'll start breaking about now. 75, 75. Match them up. Bit of step one. Alright, we're going to be belting into here, aren't we? But, uh, but never mind. We're in efficient service. What time are we due out of open? Oh, 15.11. Oh, well, we'll slow down quicker then. Come in slower. We're not due in until 15.10. It's just some expert driving there. Come on, press. I'm pressing Q. Nothing's happening.
well, we're obviously coming up to a red signal. So what I'll do is I'll, uh, I'll, I'll slow right down as if we were... I know up north they don't like you to be going more than 15 mile an hour over the grid or over the magnet. Is it the magnet or the TPWS grid uh, for the signal? So we'll slow right down and and kind of and do that. Oh, it's a green. It's gone to green. Right, okay. Oh, well, now I feel silly for coming in so slowly. Oh, there's another 465 coming in. A lot of trains in the depot, isn't there? I think uh, the, the scenario description said something about London Cannon Street was being sh was uh, was closed. It was working on engineering works or something in the Cannon Street area. There we go. Step 3. Didn't want to use that, but never mind. There we go. Into neutral. Oh, the, uh, the, the 707, not a 707, 700, you moron, is uh, is going. Is that an Orpington turn back, I wonder? Oh, it's going to Blackfriars. Maybe it is, maybe it's not. I'm, uh... Oh, yeah, because Cannon Street is shut, so that'll only be going to Blackfriars. It really is. We'll have another, uh, we'll have another photo. I mean, we, we don't need a photo, do we? Because it's pretty nailed on that the photo we're going to be using is going to be the one. Uh, that had the 700 in it as well, because that was just lovely, wasn't it? Oh, what's coming in now? Oh, another one of these doodars. Nope. Orpington. Where did they go from Orpington, then? Come on, someone shout up. Someone shout up. Where do these go? Do they go to, like, Victoria or something? Oh, I like the 465s. They're on about phasing them out, aren't they? I, I think that's sad. In fact, the 465s are probably going to be phased out by the 707s, aren't they? That's really, really sad. I like the networkers. I was sad when they went off the East Coast main line, for instance. I still can't believe that they've not found a home for them. It just It's just so sad. that they're, they're brilliant units, the 365s. Have the 365s actually been scrapped yet? I know they were in warm storage, weren't they? And then they spent a bit of time at crew. I, I don't know what they've done with them. It just seems so silly that they, you know, that they can't find them a home. And sad as well, particularly with the 365s, because they're so smiley. They're really smiley. Right, what time would you out of Orpington? 15.11, so we're more or less ready to go. We'll pop that in uh, forward thrust. There we go, platform duties complete. And away we go. Full steam ahead. We've got another one coming in, look. He's had his windows smashed and all. Oh, it's the, the crime rate is so high around this area, isn't it? Right, up to 90. Up to 90. Where's the next stop? Seven Oaks. Lovely. And then we continue down to Tombridge. Brilliant. How long have we got? About 8 miles, so we're definitely getting to uh, 90. Definitely getting to 80. We're definitely getting to 90 by 7 Oaks, aren't we? Unless the, uh, unless the speed limit goes down. Hoping that won't happen. We want a nice quick run down to 7 Oaks now. 7 Oaks being, of course, where the Thames links terminate, isn't it? Well, some of them anyway. Not, not the Bedford to Brighton ones. Because they obviously go from Bedford to Brighton. Oh no, we're not going to get to 90, it goes down to 80. God, I feel like I've been uh, swindled here. Oh well, 80 is still a pretty impressive speed, isn't it? Got a couple of repeating uh, assets on the left there, and the right. Now we can just make that a little bit more, a uh, little bit more generic. Very, very tall bridge we've got there, isn't that? Really tall. 
Very artistic, though. What's this station we're going through? Let's have a nosy. Chelsfield. Lovely. I quite like this, this two-track running that we've got going, though. This is nice. A lot of London's four-track, isn't it? So, yeah, it's nice when you get out in the sticks to have more of a... Uh, more of a two-track scenario going on. Long tunnel. Oh no, not that long. It's not as long as Totley Tunnel, is it? On the Hope Valley. Flipping heck, that is a long tunnel. Oh, there's another tunnel coming up down here. Oh, southeastern, 707. Yeah, I don't... I don't really know what they're meant to be on. Like, what? what is their allocation? Because it doesn't seem to be Metro, does it? Because the 465s are all still in the centre. And and then they're out here in the sticks playing with... Uh, well, we're not really in the sticks, are we? Because we're still in the Metro zone from Seven Oaks, but... They seem to go on longer routes, like a little bit further afield. It's uh, yeah, it's a bit of an odd one. But then again, the four six fives come out here, don't they? I'm sure they do. Still. There we go. With us going downhill as well. Oh, another long tunnel. Nearly one and a half miles. An intermediate signal in the tunnel. I think we've got another one looking at that further down. They can't both be intermediate tunnel, uh, intermediate signals, can they? I wouldn't want to be stopped on, uh, especially because this is a driver-only service. I wouldn't want to be stopped in this tunnel if something went wrong. I don't know. They might be intermediates. I'm, I'm not entirely sure, but yeah. Could you imagine if you were the driver of an eight-car service that was full and standing? and you got stuck here, and then people decided to start opening doors and getting out. It's just a nightmare scenario, isn't it? I really... The, the, this is why driver-only operation really does scare me. For I mean, obviously, I'm not a driver. Um, but, yeah, could, could you imagine being one person and having to coordinate possibly over a thousand people that are, that are all on your train? It's, it just doesn't bear thinking about. I mean, okay, you could argue, what are two people going to do rather than one? But two people are better than one in that sense, aren't they? It's Yeah, it's, it's just really, really scary, particularly when you get these longer trains. You just think, how many people? Right, there we go, speed set. We'll, uh, we'll bang that back up to 90. I love it when you get that high pitch noise of the uh, the rails on the uh, wheels. The wheels on the rails, even. And the faster you go, the higher pitch it gets. It sounds awesome on Pendolinos and things, doesn't it? Mark 4s used to sound good as well on the East Coast main line. Go. Shaking about a bit. Bit of lateral wobble. Ah, we're still in London. There's a new bus for London going over the top there. Ironically, not that new either. Not that new anymore. The new route master. Oh, it sounds good at 90, doesn't it? Well, we'll have to uh, have a little bit of break. I'm enjoying the sounds. But we'll have to break it down to 80 for... Uh... Oh, we're coming into Seven Oaks already. Christ, that time flew, didn't it? What have we got here? Another 375... Do they have 377s still at Southeastern, or did they just borrow them? What time are we doing? Seven Oaks. 15.20. Oh, we're going to be there. We've not got as much time to play with as we did at Orpington. Single flashing yellow. So that can only mean that the next one's a yellow. 
A yellow and a feather. So we need to be down at... Uh, yeah, you're going to need to break a little bit more than that. You've got a 40 coming up faster than uh, faster than you're breaking. Come on, slow down. There we go. We just about scraped through there, didn't we? That is efficiency at its finest. Getting to 40 mile an hour a hair's breadth before the sign. There we go, coming in seven oaks. Ah, I knew the 465s came down here still. There you go, there's one there. And the 700s, that's where they terminate. And then they go north to uh, somewhere else, don't they? Let's have a look, we've got a four and six stop there. The eight's just hiding there behind the shelter by the looks of things. That's a pretty good stop if I do say so myself. Get them doors open. Oh, look at that. That is absolutely bob on. I've done this before. Can you tell? Let's have a look. Because okay. of where the light is, you'd want a, a shot from that side, wouldn't you? Well, that one, it doesn't matter. Nope, that would be asset gathering. That's F9, you idiot. You want F12 for screenshots. How many screenshots have you taken and you don't know? That that's the button. Right. I'll tell you what, we'll just nip outside, see what we've got. We've got a uh, 465. Where are you going, sir? Anywhere nice? Seven Oaks. Oh, well, you've uh, you've completed that. Congratulations. Where are you going? Seven Oaks. Right, okay. Yeah. Do we do we not get anything more than that, gentlemen? You've not changed your blinds to, uh, to say where you're going back to. People must have a lot of faith. That that will be the trink. So will people sat on it if you looked? Hey dear, what time are we due out of here then? 15.20, uh, but it says up there if you look 15.21, because it'll be like 15.20 and 30 seconds or something, so it'll say 20 on here, but, uh, but yeah. So this is the last station on the uh, on the metro network, so after this the guard takes over. There we go, platform duty is complete. We'll just wait for the doors to close. I wonder what the S means. Full steam ahead. 30 mile an hour out of Tombridge. Not out of Tombridge. We're not at Tombridge yet. 30 mile an hour out of Seven Oaks, wherever we've just been. So, yeah, there's a guard now. That'll prompt us. We'll get a little flashy message as well, possibly, to tell us. I say possibly. I know full well we're going to get a flashy message that we need to change over control to the guard. And of course, on the uh, on the Electro Star, you can do that by pressing Control R. There you go. As this service has left southeastern metro area, the guard will now take over the dispatch of the train. Enter the settings and deactivate driver on the operation. You can do that on there, or you just press Control R, and it comes up at the top there saying guard operated. Nice and straightforward. Into a flipping long tunnel again. They like the tunnels on this southeastern route, don't they? We'll be flying when we come out the other end. It's over a mile long. Look, I can't see the end. Oh, it's there. Right. You can just about see it. We might even be doing 75, 80. That'd be fantastic, wouldn't it? Entering the tunnel relatively slow and then flying out the other end. Ow, I've just smacked the desk. Flipping heck, that hurt. <laughs> this is why you shouldn't wave your arms around when you get excited.
train's racing away now. Look at that, racing away. We actually got to 80 before the end of the tunnel, that's mental. Oh, and it goes to 100 down here, so what we'll do is we'll pop the, the speed set up to 100. 100 miles an hour. Brilliant. Just have a bit of coasting. We don't need speed set for just less than a mile, do we? Bursting out that tunnel at 80. Oh, it's good, isn't it? I like it. See, this is why I like the semi-express services, because we've stopped quite a bit, haven't we? I mean, we've had a stop more or less. When you got out of the central London zone, we've had a stop every, what, 10 minutes or so? That's a nice gap. On the on the East Coast, where you can go over an hour without stopping, I think that's just a little bit long. I get a little bit bored then. There we go. Speed set on. But, uh, yeah, it's, it's certainly nice to be able to get up to a bit of fast speed, fly through a couple of stations, and, uh, and then stop every now and then. Oh, it's off. Look at that. The, the squeal of the rails and the wheels and the metal and the... Oh, it's just brilliant, isn't it? This is what you come here for, folks. Whistle board. Well, there's no point doing half measures, are there? You may as well give them a good old honk. Acutely aware we're going downhill now. 100. Oh, we've got a flashing yellow. Is that for us, or is it looks like it's the other side? But that could always be a bend. God, we're racing through here. Look at that. No hanging about. People of London have a fast connection to Hastings, don't they? Oh, we may as well start slowing down. The hundred was short-lived, but we're uh, we're about two miles out of Tombridge now. How does he know this, I hear you ask? It, it says it. I, yeah, I have no route knowledge on this route. It's all uh, what, what the doodar at the bottom tells me. May as well just leave it in step one, haven't we? In fact, we might need a little bit of step two. We'll, we'll see how it copes. Yep, we can do this. Ah, oh, look at that, we're not speeding. Fantastic. I think we might need a bit of step two to get down to 50, though. Yeah, there we go, we'll have a bit of step two. By the signal, come on, you can do it. I don't know if it's a controlled approach, because this next signal's showing us... Well, that was a yellow, so the next signal will be red, won't it? So, we'll, uh, yeah, we'll treat it as if we're stopping. Oh, I don't want to stop, I want it to go straight in. Is there something else coming the other way that we need to wait for? I can't imagine. Maybe there's something else in the platform. Or maybe it's just a controlled approach and only pulls off once we've gone through that... Uh, that slow, stoppy signal. The signal that reduces our speed. That's the one. Oop, there we go. Right, bit of, bit more speed. Into platform three. Oh, we've got a southern coming out there. Oh, it's a dinky one. It's a little three car. Look at that. Ah, oh, adorable. He's had his windows done and all. Right, well, there we go. That is where we're going to finish the video for today. I do hope you enjoyed that. Uh, we've driven from London Charing Cross down to Tombridge on a Hastings service, semi-express. You should know you've just watched it. I hope you have anyway. If you have enjoyed the video, please do click that like button 
Uh, it's always appreciated. It helps the video do a little bit better. Uh, the YouTube algorithm, that's that's what that sets off. Do also comment what you think. Is it Battersea Power Station? Is it not? I mean, I think we've pretty much decided it's not Battersea Power Station, but I don't know. There might be some people determined to prove that it is. Uh, do, of course, comment what you think. There's a link in the description as well, like I say, to the Southeastern Route Network add-on. Uh, so go and check that out. It's an absolute must for Southeastern fans. And, uh, yeah, as soon as I get a link to the scenario, I will put that in there also. Other than that, as I say, thank you so, so much for watching. And hopefully, I'll see you all next time. Cheerio! Goodbye for now.